Hi, this is Molly from elvenelysium.com and I'm here today because I want to talk to you about making basic shapes, which in short is going to be a lot about making balls and sausages. Sounds absolutely filthy, but it isn't. Um, it's a little bit like those books that you read when you were in grade school that taught you how to draw by breaking down the pictures of like an animal into oblong ovals and circles and squares and they showed you how to do that for large and small details and then eventually it was like poof magic wonderful piece of art and no one ever showed you what the intermediate steps were so the basic shapes sometimes can feel a little bit about like that but um the reason i'm showing you this is because a lot of my tutorials the ones that are available on amazon and a lot of my classes we use a lot of these shapes to really create some detail and actually to create kind of the base shapes of like a dragon or a fairy or something like that. So there's three basic shapes I'm going to show you today and I'm going to show you in a larger piece of clay and I'm also going to show you in a smaller piece of clay. And the first one from which all the other basic shapes flow is a sphere. So you have this little lump of clay and a sphere comes when you move your, your hands in a parallel way. So you'll see if I go in little circles but I keep the surfaces of my hands parallel, I'm making a sphere and I can kind of refine it just by rolling it there in the hollow of my hand. And you're pretty much done. You just a little bit of work to get it round but there's a respectable sphere to start working with. Now a disc is even more fun because I like to squash things flat. It's a good way to take out stress. So a disc, I'm just gonna like flatten this sphere a little bit and now I kind of have another basic shape I could work on to either start a stand or make little discs and details on dolls and fairy houses and other things like that. So let's do the next easiest shape, the sausage. So we've gotten the, the sphere, the ball, let's, let's make some sausages. It'll be a sausage fest up in here. So I start again, I'm just gonna get my clay back into shape with those little circles. So a sausage shape or a snake, if you were in grade school, I remember in pottery class rolling little snakes and coiling them around to make a cup, is where you're gonna go one direction, back and forth. And you're just gonna make kind of a long tube of clay. I actually like to roll it on a surface and you know I can move my hands like this as I roll. And then I can kind of get these long thin shapes that I can taper on one end. I can start doing things like um, making a spiral to add to a design. It starts out as a little spiral, can be a snail shell. So that's, that's kind of a long sausage shape. And um, when you see those little thin Celtic knots and things in my work, that's really all it is. And let me get it back into a sphere. So the other basic shape you're going to want to learn how to make is a cone or a teardrop shape. Not the cone of shame, just a cone. And you'll see as I roll this cone that I'm going to have my hands in a V. And I'm going to kind of try to keep the ball of clay um, about to the halfway point in the V so that I'm not rolling equally on both sides. I'm only rolling half of it to make this little cone shape. Let me show it to you again flat on the tile. So if I'm making this cone, I only really want to roll from the midpoint. And as I roll, I'm going to move my hand towards the tip that I'm making. Just like that. This is how pretty much all of my dragon heads start. This is a cone like this, and then I can start to refine that shape into a skull, something like that. So let's explore making these very small. So you've seen some of my work, and there's all these little tiny details that everyone kind of ooze and ahs about. I'm gonna make this a little bigger than I normally would. But if I wanna make a leaf, this little leaf starts out as a ball shape, and it's a pink leaf because it's in unicorn land. I roll out my little cone, and it's easier to do it on a tile when you have a really small bit of clay. I'm gonna squish that cone flat, and you'll, you'll see if I tip the tile up, it's flat, but it's not like super, super thin because that super thin detail will scorch. Now, it's almost leaf-like already, but if I take my needle tool, which is um, just a stainless steel needle with a wooden handle, and I draw a center line, and then I can draw some little veins off the side, like this, I start to get kind of a respectable leaf. 
Now I use this little cheese cutter or clay scraper because if I try to peel this up, I'm going to deform the shape. So I just kind of slide it under there and I pick it up. And now I can um, use my fingers to kind of shape the end. I can put it on there like so. And then I usually just, to attach it, I sweep this little needle tool down like that. So I have a little applique right on there already. So let's find another little few shapes of clay. So another thing that I can do that you'll see a lot of on my work is these little tiny um, spherical details. And they almost look like scales, um, but they're not. So let's just take some, some larger than I normally would do. So I've rolled these little tiny balls, and I'm going to take this ball stylus tool. And because clay's kind of sticky, I can pick it up and I can kind of put this where I want it. Now I'm going to press down in the center and just drag a little bit. This is why I like to stick my stuff down there. Um, so if I do a cluster of these up here, I start to get kind of a nice little design. I Alternatively, I don't have to drag in the center. I can take a little ball of clay and I can put it someplace and I can just make a depression. And if I want to get super fancy, I can take an even smaller ball of clay and fit it in there and tap it to make it into a disc. Let's do a little spiral on there just for fun. So here's a, a little bit of clay that I'm just going to roll out into the sausage shapes. We're back to the sausage fest again. And I'm, I'm going to taper both ends, so it's almost like rolling the cone shape and the sausage shape all in one. So if I taper these ends to be kind of um, long and viney, I, I actually have a respectable vine here. And then I can pick it up, and I just start to roll it on the tip of my thumb. Didn't catch the end as well because I'm holding it at kind of a weird angle to show you. I can start getting this little spiral shape in here. And I can fold this and um, make kind of any shape that I'd like. Another kind of nice detail to do is actually, once you have that spiral, you can either apply it like that, or you can tap it flat and scrape it up and apply it like that. So I hope that that gives you sort of some fun ideas of where you can just make a lot of layers of beautiful detail using some really simple and basic shapes that doesn't have to be intimidating at all. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you kind of like a way to meditate almost, making a design on a piece of clay that's a little bit larger with these basic shapes and some other pigment powder powders. So in the meantime, if you'd like to jump in and get more advanced, um, check the links at the bottom of the YouTube video and you can find some of my newer tutorials online and now you have a better idea of some of the steps and the mechanics involved in making those. Thank you and happy crafting.